When you're doing your fall cleaning this weekend, don't forget about your medicine cabinet. Our Brenda Lipinski talks to experts about how doing so not only frees up space, but it could prevent something very tragic from happening. That medication stored in your cabinet might not seem like a big deal, but Dr. Charles Seipert, regional dean at the School of Pharmacy at Tech, says medication you're not using should be disposed of correctly. One is to decrease the risk of overdose in your home uh, from small children and things like that. Uh, another thing is to help with getting all the old medicine out to help people from being confused. Saying medication that's not thrown out can end up being abused. The number one place that uh, people who are going to abuse uh, prescription opioids is from a family member or a friend. The younger person says, hey, it must be fun to try. So they try it, get addicted, and then we've got our we've got our problem. And Jeannie Hamadillo Stamets with Poison Control says cabinets that haven't been cleared out have led to deadly consequences. So at the Poison Center, we're getting a lot more cases that are suicidal gestures, um, that are overdoses of medications. If, if I had to estimate, I would say probably between a 20% to 50% increase in overdoses that we are having called into the Poison Center. Um, and that includes all age categories. Brenda Lipensky, KLBK News. And this weekend is Texas Tech's 73rd Medication Cleanout event. It's from 2, 10 to 2 over at the Texas Tech Physicians Medical Pavilion near the Health Sciences Center.